there is a place where we imagine the impossible. Where the powers of machine and nature become one. Lockheed Martin's highly anticipated uncrewed hypersonic aircraft, the SR-72 Son of Blackbird, is allegedly scheduled to take its first flight in 2025. Believed to be a top-secret project for the United States Air Force, USAF, the SR-72 is touted to reach over 4,000 miles per hour, 6,437 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest plane ever developed. Designed as the successor to the SR-71 Blackbird, the SR-72 is expected to be unmanned, hypersonic, and reusable, primarily serving intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR missions while supporting Lockheed Martin's high-speed strike weapon, HSSW. Since this is exciting news for Lockheed Martin, hypersonic technology and aircraft has been making headlines all over the globe. Most notably, China's hypersonic weapon launch in July caught intelligence services off guard, including the U.S. Space Force. The Chinese hypersonic technology is more advanced than any other country, even though it missed its intended target. It looks like China is in the lead, but still has a long way to go to win the race. The SR-72 is widely considered the natural successor of the SR-71 Blackbird which set speed records in 1974 and was retired by the USAF in 1998 as the fastest manned aircraft. The SR-72 is allegedly designed to be unmanned, hypersonic, and reusable. Its primary functions will likely be intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, activities. It is also believed that the SR-72 will support Lockheed Martin's new high-speed strike weapon, HSSW, enhancing its striking ability. The aircraft's combat capabilities make it ideal for striking targets in dangerous environments where manned aircraft would be too slow and risky. According to reports, the new weapon system can fire hypersonic weapons faster than any other weapon and instantly achieve hypersonic speeds. Moreover, it can maintain these speeds for longer periods. The SR-72 is reported to be similar to its predecessor, the SR-71, at over 100 feet, 30 meters, long. The aircraft is set to enter service by 2030, following the USAF's hypersonic roadmap for developing a hypersonic strike weapon by 2020. Lockheed Martin has engaged in talks with government officials about the concept, but has not secured funding for the demonstrator or engine at its unveiling. Lockheed Martin's advanced development programs are developing the S-72, or Skunk Works. Reportedly designed to operate without a human pilot, this plane has the potential to revolutionize the way the military uses aircraft. The high speed of over 4,000 miles per hour is important to the military as it enables them to reach their destination very quickly. For example, with this speed, they can travel from the U.S. to Europe in just an hour and a half. Jet engine technology has significantly improved almost 60 years after the SR-71 was developed. However, to survive on the modern battlefield, a more advanced form of propulsion is required to achieve the necessary speeds that the SR-72 will achieve, the National Interest reports. To evade modern air defenses, the SR-72 aircraft must be capable of reaching hypersonic speeds, and only rocket-powered aircraft and spacecraft or single-use technology demonstrators have achieved these speeds so far. Optional turbojet and turbofan engines can provide enough power to an aircraft during takeoff and landing at subsonic speeds. However, they cannot sustain hypersonic speeds. While there are jet engines that can power an aircraft at hypersonic speeds, they cannot be used during takeoff and landing. To this end, the SR-72 requires an engine that can do both. The SR-72 program is focused on developing a fully reusable turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC, hypersonic propulsion system. This propulsion system is a kind of air-breathing jet engine that combines the turbofan engines used in many modern tactical aircraft with a supersonic combustion ramjet, also known as a scramjet, that is capable of achieving and sustaining speeds above Mach 5 and even potentially exceeding Mach 10. While the alleged progress, development, and production timelines are still blurry, Lockheed said in late 2018 that an SR-72 prototype will fly by 2025, 
with the aircraft possibly entering service into the 2030s. We know that Lockheed openly discussed the potential of developing a demonstration aircraft as early as 2016 that would be about the size of an F-22 Raptor and would serve to demonstrate the technologies that would support the SR-72's hypersonic design. In just a few years, such a demonstration may take to the skies for less than $1 billion in production costs. Even while this was strange, it was by no means proof positive. Meanwhile, Lockheed has also clarified that the fictitious Dark Star design is based on real-world capabilities, suggesting that a hypersonic aircraft that can outrun the SR-71 already exists or might do so in the not-too-distant future. Above all, though, they provide additional proof of Lockheed Martin's efforts to imply that the history of high-speed flying is different from what we currently believe it to be. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.